hello let me show you step by step on how to solve this type of question after this tutorial you'll be able to solve any question in this form yes yeah, so the first thing we need to do is we are going to call whatever we have inside the bracket x or any variable you choose okay so in my case i'm going to call it x so we can say let one plus root five divided by two be equal to x so if we say that we now do cross multiplication i'm going to explain why we are doing this very soon so cross multiply two times x will give us two x is equal to one plus root what one plus root five now let's bring this to this side and leave this root this side so if we do that we have two x plus one we cross to become minus one is equal to root five. Now, in order to remove this root sign, the only thing we can do is to square both sides of this equation, okay? Like I said, I'm going to explain why very soon. So we have two x minus one squared, two x minus one squared, okay? Is equal to root five squared. Now, remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus two ab plus b squared okay in this case our a is 2x and our b is 1 so to expand these brackets we are going to have a squared that is 2x squared minus 2ab that is minus 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1 plus b squared plus 1 squared is equal to note that this will yeah so what we now have here is 5 so 2 squared is 4 x squared okay minus 2 times 2x is 4x plus 1 squared is 1 is equal to 5. So we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. This 5 we cross become minus 5. So minus 5 is equal to 0. We have 4x minus, sorry, 4x squared, okay, minus 4x. 1 minus 5 is minus 4 as well, is equal to 0. Now, ah, I don't know, I used to forget this square. <laughs> So, in order to simplify this, let's divide through by 4, okay? So, we have this divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4, divided by 4. So, this we divide itself, we have 1. 1 times x squared will give us x squared minus the same thing we have here, we have x minus 1 is equal to 0. Any number divided, 0 divided by any number is 0. Yes. Now, let me explain why we are looking for all this, okay? Remember that x to the power of 6 remember we call this x so this means that if we say this is x that means this is the same thing as x to the power of 6 now x to the power of 6 if we want to simplify this using um algebra and uh, sorry using our identity <coughs> If we want to simplify this using our knowledge of indices or exponents, x to the power of 6 is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. Because a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. Okay? So you notice that 3 to the power of 3 times 2 will still give us 6. Now, notice that what I'm trying to get is x to the power of 3 and then I will square it. So first I'll get x squared. From there I'll get x to the power of 3 and I'll then square it to get what we are asked to do. Yes. Now look at or uh, stay tuned and see how we are going to do this. So let me make x squared is the subject of the formula so that from this I'll get my x to the power of 3. So I'll have x squared is equal to minus x we cross to become plus x and minus 1 we cross to become plus 1. So this is a very important equation in this particular solve a solution we are finding. Now we are going to get our x to the power of 3 from this x squared. We are going to see how, why. You notice that if we have a to the power of m, all right, multiplied by a to the power of n, right? This is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So it means that if I have x to the power of 2, if I want to get x to the power of 3, that is m plus n, that means I'll multiply this by x to the power of 1, so that I will do 2 plus 1 here to get my 3, as easy as that. So that is exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to multiply this side by x, therefore I'll also multiply the other side by x. So I'll have x to the power of 2 multiplied by x, which is same thing as x to the power of 
1 is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by x as well. So this will give us, we pick one base, we add the powers, is equal to x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x. So we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x squared plus x. This is what we have, all right? Remember that we need x to the power of 3 so that when we square it, we get our value. First, x squared, when it, anywhere you see x squared, you are going to substitute it with x plus 1. That's why I said that this is the most interesting aspect of this, the most interesting equation in this a solution we are looking for. So we now have x to the power of 3 is equal to x squared is x plus 1, x plus 1 plus x. So we have x to the power of 3 is x plus x is 2x plus 1. Amazing. Now remember that we are looking for x to the power of 6. So what we need to do is to square this side. Whatever you do to this side, please always do it to the other side. So that means that we are going to write this as x to the power of 3 squared, right, is equal to 2x plus 1 squared. Now we have x to the power of 6, which is what we are looking for, is equal to, now when you have a plus b squared, it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this is going to be a, this is our a, and this is our b. So a squared, which is 2x squared plus 2ab. 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1 then plus b squared that is plus 1 squared is still 1 okay i don't know if you can see to till that end all right now we have x to the power of 6 is equal to 2 squared is 4 we have x squared all right plus 2 times 2x is 4x plus 1. now let's continue from this side of the board all right mm. we are close to the solution anyways so we have x to the power of six is equal to this is what we have four x squared plus four x plus one now remember that our x squared oh i've deleted it now remember that our x squared is x plus one so that is exactly what we are going to do here so we have x to the power of six is equal to four brackets x plus one okay that is for this plus 4x plus 1 now x to the power of 6 is equal to 4 times x is 4x 4 times 1 is plus 4 then plus this 4x plus 1 amazing i hope you are enjoying this video yes if this is the first time you are seeing us don't forget to click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss us ever again okay because i would love to see you in my next video thank you very much please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video now this is what we have here x to the power of 6 is equal to 4x plus 4x we give us 8x plus 4 plus 1 we give us 5 now remember that our x our x is what one plus root five over two so that's what we are going to replace there we are going to substitute the value of our x here so we have um one plus root five divided by two raised to the power of six which is the question we are asked to simplify is equal to eight brackets one plus root five divided by 2 plus 5 okay so we have 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 6 is equal to this we divide this we have four brackets 1 plus root 5 okay plus 5 amazing right yes so this is equal to 4 times 1 is 4 4 times root 5 is 4 root 5 plus 5 so this is equal to 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 4 root 5 and this is the simplified version of this thank you so much i hope to see you in my next video